Okay, you can see what we're coming up to today here. Nice big tunnel. Now this here used to be a rail tunnel. Now there is a couple information placards here, which we, we can take a picture of them and post them up. But this is the Rockland Tunnel. And we've done a couple other videos in this nearby area also. And uh, this happens to be a, an abandoned train tunnel, which they have repurposed to make it a biking and hiking trail. This is a long tunnel. It's 2,868 feet. So that's going to be a pretty nice walk through it and then back through it again. Kind of get you a shot of the opening here. Yeah, you can see it says 1915 up there. Same near the Brady Tunnel, is it? You can see she's cut right into the rock. Okay, let's get into this tunnel. This is a nice brick lined tunnel. Of course, you always have to deal with some graffiti. Pretty nice little manholes in this one. So far, this tunnel appears to be in really good shape. Mm -hmm. 
dead body. There's a lot of man or uh, manholes in this one. I mean, they're pretty much about every 30 feet or so. They're a lot bigger too than the ones that we normally see. Yeah. I mean, I still wouldn't consider that big, but. And it's looking back out from where we're at. So we haven't went too far yet. Definitely some uh, creative graffiti, but there's a, some kind of a little timber in that one. I don't know what that's for. In my opinion, graffiti has its place. Not in here. Yeah, I agree. I'm not against it. Or it should be at. Not in any old or historical Ruined it. Yeah. Another timber in the manhole there. So far, this tunnel's in good shape. I mean, you can see some little places that there was some maybe patches over the years, but generally, it's pretty nice for the age of it. A lot of bricks in this baby. I can tell you that. Turn your light off. Let's see how dark it is. Okay, we just turned off all the lights just to see how dark it is in here. And that's back. If that's picking that up, that's back where we came in. And then, uh, up that way is where the other side is. So, there's quite a ways to go yet. Up here or something. Yeah, 
I'm kind of thinking that way too. Okay, there's a bend here towards the end as we look back towards where we come in. Still pretty straight this way. The bend's kind of just right here. Now I do see a little bit of water dripping down right here. But there's some kind of a little drain right there in the ceiling that it's coming out of. Okay, we're heading out the other side. Just a few places in this part of the tunnel where there is a little bit of a uh, little bit of rain coming down. Not bad, though. Actually, in really good shape, surprisingly. Compared to some of the ones that we've been in. Okay, this is where we just came out of the other, you know, the tunnel. And you can see the rock layers where it was tunneled through. And the trail continues on as the bike trail or the hiking trail. Okay, we're headed back through the tunnel now. Back to where we started. Because of this bend, you can't even see any light. No, can't see it yet. See the other end up there. So right here, I can look back and see that end, which we haven't came very far yet. And we can look over here and see that end. I mean, the nice thing about these repurposed tunnels is they will receive regular upkeep and maintenance. So, you know, in that regard, we may have them to, to be able to explore for many more years to come. So that's the good point in that. Okay, we're heading out of the Rockland Tunnel. Hope you enjoyed this video on this tunnel. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.